Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are good and doing well at home. So children, as you all know that today this is our online English language class and we have started uh, yesterday, from yesterday we have started with our new chapter that is adverbs. Okay, now children, I hope you all have completed the first book exercise which I gave you yesterday as an assignment. And I also hope that you have understood the concept of adverbs. What are adverbs? Okay. And uh, I also hope that you have done all your work very nicely. And I also hope children that yesterday you have given your English exam also very nicely. Now children from uh, yesterday as you have received the message that you will be having your exams uh, with uh, within two timings okay your exams will be held uh, uh, for two times okay in a day like in the morning uh, it is from 12 to 1 okay and in the evening it is from 7 to 8 so those children who are not able to give the exams in the morning due to some reasons like if your parents are not at home or if they are going for jobs or something then you can uh, you can give your test in the evening but make sure children that you give your test only once okay अगर आपने दोनों बार टेस्ट दिया होगा तो वो वैलिड नहीं होगा आपको कोई भी एक टाइम पे टेस्ट देना है इज दैट क्लियर सो मेक श्योर दैट यू कंप्लीट योर टेस्ट आइदर इन द मॉर्निंग टाइम मॉर्निंग स्लॉट और इन द इवनिंग स्लॉट इज दैट क्लियर टू यू ऑल नाउ कमिंग बैक टू आर वीडियो चिल्ड्रन uh, yesterday I gave you adverbs, I explained you, so I hope you all have understood. But those who have missed my yesterday's video, then you can understand it from today. Because today also, before starting other book exercise, I will give you a short uh, recap of this topic. Is that clear children? Now, for that you have to take out your basic English grammar and composition book. Okay, and turn to page number 39, that is chapter number 15, adverbs. Now children I told you yesterday uh, what are adverbs and again I am telling you so please uh, look uh, watch this video very carefully and understand it okay. Now as you all know that I explained you that an adverb tells us more about a verb. Adverb kya hai jo hume verb ke baare mein aur jankari deta hai. Jo word hume verb ke baare mein aur kuch patata hai that is known as adverb. It tells us how, where and when an action happened. Now, we have to tell us about this. How, where, where, where and when. Kab, koi action hua hai. Okay? So, now here we are going to study about words that tell us how. Kaise wo words, uh, verbs ho rahe hai? Unke baare mein. How, how are they being done? Okay? So, how the action is being done? We will learn from here. Okay. Uh, so as you can see in this picture. The old man walks slowly. Kaise? How? Kaise? Kaise walk kar rahe? Slowly. Uncle Aman runs fast. Kaise run kar rahe? Fast. The baby laughs loudly. Kaise laugh kar rahe? Wo? Loudly. Okay. Nitesh writes neatly. Kaisa likh raha hai? Neatly. Is that clear? Now in these sentences the words slowly, loudly, fast and neatly show us how the action is done. Slowly, fast, loudly, neatly. Ye words hume kya bata rahe hai? Ki action kaise hua hai? How it has been done? Kaise? Okay. Uncle, le, old man ne walk kaise kiya? Uncle Aman ne kaise run kiya? Baby ne kaise laugh kiya? Or Nitesh ne kaisa likha? Writing kaisa kiya? Is that clear? So, all these words are known as adverbs. Okay. How the old man walks? Slowly. How the baby laughs? Loudly. How does Uncle Aman run fast? Ne how does Nitesh write? Neatly. Is that clear to you all? So that was all in this uh, topic. In this first exercise. Okay. And uh, here we have read some words. Okay. So with, in which we have added ly. Adverbs, mostly adverbs uh, end with ly words, okay? So, like easy, easily, kind, kindly, silent, silently, nice, nicely, sweet, sweetly. So, all these uh, words, after writing this word, just add ly. 
so they will become the adverbs is that clear children uh, in the same manner we have done this exercise also yesterday the cuckoo sang sweetly the old woman walked slowly the stars shined brightly sam wrote the shopping list neatly indian soldier fought bravely my sister speaks softly i waited for his reply eagerly okay reena ran to the door quickly my dad fixed the remote control easily rinky's brother stamped his feet angrily okay so i hope this part is clear to you all now coming to next part on page number 41 as you can see now children make sure that uh, in this on this page number 41 exercise b is given but this exercise we are not going to do so put a cross on this exercise we are not going to do this exercise is that clear now coming to the third exercise that is the c exercise make adverbs by adding ly to the words given below you may have to change some spellings now is may aapko kya karna hai is exercise mein that some words are given there are 10 words given to you all okay and what you have to do is that you have to add ly हर वर्ड के बाद आपको एल वाई लगाना है जिससे आपका एडवर्ब बन जाए लेकिन कुछ वर्ड्स में एल वाई लगाने के लिए हमें स्पेलिंग भी चेंज करनी पड़ेगी इज दैट क्लियर एज इट इज सब में एल वाई नहीं लगेगा किसी किसी वर्ड्स में कुछ वर्ड्स हटके एल वाई लगेगा किसी किसी में कुछ और एड होके एल वाई लगेगा इज दैट क्लियर सो मेक श्योर दैट यू लिसन टू दिस वेरी केयरफुली लिसन टू ऑल द स्पेलिंग वेरी केयरफुली ओके नाउ द फर्स्ट वर्ड which is given here is merry m e r r y merry and we have to add l y okay now the first word is children merry m e r r y merry so what you will do you will add l y we have to add l y but because this word is having y in the last so we have to change the spelling and what will be the spelling of merrily m e r r i l y merrily is that clear now coming to the next word that is warm w a r m warm this will become warmly w a r m l y warmly beautiful will become beautifully now what you have to do you have to write the spelling of beautiful b e a u t i f u l then again l y beautifully clear soft will become softly so what will be the spelling s o f t l y softly careless will become carelessly c a r e l e s s l y carelessly then careful sixth word is careful this will become carefully c a r e care f u l l y carefully sudden will become suddenly s u d d e n l y suddenly final f i n a l l y finally ninth word is bold so it will become b o l d l y boldly and in the last tenth word will become tenth word is quiet so it will become q u i e t l y quietly okay so here we have to uh, we have changed only one spelling that is merrily okay merry ki spelling humne merrily mein change kara hai to i y hata ke i l y laga diya this will uh, this have become merrily and all the words are we have written as it is and then we have added l y in the last oh, is that clear to you all children i hope all these words are clear to you all once again i am repeating merry will become merrily warm will become warmly beautiful will become beautifully soft will become softly careless will become carelessly careful will become carefully sudden will become suddenly final will become finally bold will become boldly and in the last quiet will become quietly so i hope this exercise is very clear to you all children there is no uh, confusion in this uh, exercise very easy you just only have to add ly and in some words you have to change the spelling and then you have to add ly to it is that clear children i hope you all have understood this exercise so for today children this is the only assignment which you will do in your english language okay that you have to complete this book exercise c part on page number 41 and tomorrow we will do the other uh, topic that is 
द वर्ड्स विच टेल्स अस अब वेयर ओके वर्ड्स दैट टेल्स अस वेयर अभी तक हमने किया था द वर्ड्स दैट टेल्स अस हाउ कैसे वर्ब्स हो रहे थे अब हमें वो वर्ड्स के बारे में देखना है एडजेक्टिव्स के बारे में जिससे हमें पता चले कहाँ हो रहा है ओके सो दिस वी विल डू इट फ्रॉम टुमारो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस एक्सरसाइज एज योर एग्जाम्स आर आल्सो गोइंग ऑन सो आई एम गिविंग यू ओनली वन वन एक्सरसाइज डेली चिल्ड्रन ओके एंड आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस जस्ट बी रेडी फॉर योर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम एंड प्लीज गिव योर एग्जाम very neatly very uh, very nicely very carefully and make sure that while submitting your answers while clicking on the answers you be very careful that whatever the answer is correct you only click on that answer is that clear children all the best to you all until my next video bye bye take care stay at home and stay safe children